Hello, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen. I greet you wherever you are this moment listening to me. I want to inform you without taking much of your time because some of you are very skeptic and very fearful. To the extent that you have uh, um, objected that uh, Prime Minister Simon Eba should not make a move out of um, Finland to alert world powers and other countries on earth the movement for the actualization of Biafra nation. And uh, I want to tell you that it does not synchronize to the idea of freedom fighting and uh, Biafra referendum determination because that which you want to do, the whole world must be alerted and especially world powers because what um, he is doing is passing through legal process. He is in the procedure and this is why you see that nobody can interrupt him or nobody can intercept him. Nobody can actually stop him. Like he said, that's the good guy for you, that nobody will stop him. Nobody can stop him. <laughs> you see, our people said, na mwena raonye kareleganya unkiri kine mie unkiri. So I want to tell you that um, the Prime Minister of the Afro Republic in exile uh, is on his way to many countries um, as the uh, declaration of Biafra nation is getting close, drawing closer and closer on the on daily basis. So, and um, as it stands now, you must be aware and understand that there is fear and panic in Nigeria because um, the so-called president of Nigeria have tried his worst and fail by declaring um, Simon Eba wanted, and this was why Simon Eba in return declared Tinibu wanted. You know, this is a fighting. This is freedom fighting. So now Tinibu felt like the whole world belonged to him. He is uh, much, very much comfortable because they have disabled Nigeria. Nigeria is, is a disabled country, if you don't know. So, know it now. And this is why Biafrans, those who are reasonably minded, made up their mind to separate themselves from the disabled ones. I get what I'm saying this moment. So, what I'm tell, trying to tell you is, yeah, is this. Don't accept defeat. Don't concede defeat. Don't uh, allow fear to take any part of you because fears, F-E-A-R, simply means false evidence appearing real. So there is no way and there's no how we can allow fear to penetrate into Biafra territory. That is to say we are contemplating whether if Biafra will come or not. We are confident in the victory. We have confidence that Biafra nation shall in no distant time come to reality. So, and this is the reason why Simon Eba moves from one country to another. And I'm telling you today, it is very clear to Nigerians that the move made by Mazenam de Kano cannot be um, I mean, reversed. It cannot be reversed. So, and nobody will stop it. Because many gentlemen, <laughs> many gentlemen, many generals <laughs> from Biafra land are waiting. You know, are waiting for the catapult from Nigeria country. Hmm? You know, they use catapult to fight. They use... <laughs> so, the generals from Biafra land and commanders, they are waiting. They are not sleeping. They are just waiting and watching <laughs> where that catapult is going to come from. Then, uh, that will be the end of Nigeria, whether if they like it or not. I'm telling you the truth. We do what we say, and we say what we do. Though you don't believe us, somebody have asked, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Oh, yes. You can see 
even the savior of the whole world come from Nazareth. Can anything good come out of Biafra land? I am telling you 1000%. Yes. Every good thing comes from Biafra land. All right. It's only a foolish person that doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't understand that this is his right. It's only a foolish person that does not know his right. But since you are not foolish, you know your right. You know what is your right. And you must know how to get it. So what I'm telling you is that, dear friends, who are agitating for their own nation, the freedom fighters, indeed, they know is they know what is their right, and they know that Biafra nation is their right, and that is why they are fighting relentlessly, relentlessly hmm, to get it this time around. And I'm telling you, it is very vivid and coming with the speed as erosion moves. That's how Biafrans move. That if you block the way, you shall be swept off by the erosion. So why I'm saying this moment, there's a lot of meetings upon meetings between Muslim to Muslim tickets. And you know what it means. Nigeria is made up of um, houses and Yorubas. So I don't have any problem with that. So, but what I'm telling you is that they are Nigeria and we are their friends. We are not begging for us to leave. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are not begging Nigerians to exit. We are not begging Nigerians to be uh, that we want to become Biafrans. We are already Biafrans, written with the full footprint on the reservoir. Footprint on the reservoir. We are the Biafrans. So, what we are doing is what? It's a struggle, it's a fight. Mm hmm. And through that fight, through that struggle, we have already defeated them. Then we enter Biafra completely. <laughs> so if they apply for our diplomatic relationship, if we wish, then we accept them somehow. Because you cannot work with a terrorist. And sleep with the two eyes closed. The bar is no way he got what on your rack up was in Tamu. But what I'm telling you this moment is that the good guy is on his way to bring the Biafra nation to reality and to end in Nigeria as he promised. So if you are doubting, I have nothing to tell you, just watch. But I know that some Igbos and some Biafrans shall use force to jump into Biafra nation. Because some people will ask you, come on, is this thing they are saying real? Will a Biafra come to reality? Is it going to happen? And who will bring it? <laughs> who will bring it? So they make mockery of that. Make just of it. Abandon it in one corner. Ask him. He's a Nigerian. Good. I don't misquote you. And I'm not against you. But just wait. And those who are crying already in Nigeria should stop crying. Because what they imported for, what they voted for, is what they are seeing. So, I'm telling you that there will be experience that have never 
happened before in Nigeria this year. We are facing the truth and we are saying the truth. And the truth must take place. Finger is pointing at Biafra to be free from colonization and Islamization and Fulanization. But I know many people will never concur with me because most of the time what you hear is that I overheard this but I thought it was a joke. You who is listening to me today struggle to enter, strive to enter. Biafra is real. The land that filled saturated with the milk and honey. The land of no regret. Where if you build or you are doing your business, nobody will come and destroy it for no reason. And nobody will come and kill you. Nobody. Absolutely. So, my dear listeners, be very, very careful and Try to understand what you are doing. Biafrans have invested so much outside the Biafra land. And today, the people that claim that the land belongs to them does not allow them to reap that which they have invested. And are telling them to leave their land for them. And um, as many as believe that the Abia friends have started moving down to Biafra land. I will leave you here.